dating advice for men. Guys are my favorite topic. I love men. Oh, this is good. There's so much misunderstanding, you know. This is going to give guys a better understanding of chicks. Everybody could use relationship advice, even if you've been married for 50 years. A girl might learn something from a video like this. Fitness advice for women. And advice from other people is always good. Experience is the best teacher. A video like this can help girls just to make sure we're all thinking alike. A video like this can help women better understand how to approach men, how to act around them. I hope people learn how to have fun and be happy. Um, I like sensitivity. I like a nice guy. I know that all the girls say they like a nice guy, but they really don't, but I really do like nice guys. Like a guy that can cook and clean. I really appreciate that. Um, I like to meet guys in the laundromat, in the library, and places like that, because if I meet somebody in a bar, then I know that they're going to be like an alcoholic, or there's a reason why they're in a bar. They're like a bar fly, and everybody knows them. So I try to meet guys in laundry mats, maybe even church sometimes, because then you get people with the right priorities. The funniest thing a guy has done to meet me is I was standing in a very crowded club with a bunch of my friends, and I think I was even dating somebody at the time, and somebody hit me in the back of the head with a piece of paper, and it turned out to be his telephone number on a $100 bill. So that was the, just absolutely the craziest thing that's ever happened to me. I think a guy should be very persistent because we, our moods change hourly sometimes. So, <laughs> and like how we feel one minute may be from one little minuscule thing that we see from a guy, so we won't want to date him. But the more we get to know a guy, inevitably the more good is going to come out. So a guy should be very persistent. There are many guys that I wouldn't have dated if they had not been so persistent. Physically, what's attractive, attractive is if a guy takes care of himself, if he takes care of his body. He doesn't have to work out constantly or be so into himself in that way, but it's nice if somebody, you know, kind of cares about the way they eat and things like that. Um, so physically, that, that's nice when somebody is healthy. Um, mentally, I guess when somebody's just not crazy. <laughs> but I mean, everybody has their little sinks and everything that they go through and everything, so little things are easy to deal with. It's the big things that are very important. A guy's gotta make a woman feel like she's the only girl on earth, or she won't wanna be with him. She'll look for that somewhere else. I think somebody that is like really confident in who they are and doesn't have any problem with who they are at all whatsoever, it's a very attractive quality because then you know that there's reasons why they believe the way they believe. They're not just wishy-washy and just going with the pattern or anything. I think a great first date is bowling and then going to the pizza parlor and maybe an ice cream float. <laughs> um, well, because ice cream makes everybody happy. It doesn't matter if it's gonna be a bad date or not. After the ice cream, you'll be pretty happy about it. <laughs> I like when somebody writes me a letter. I consider that a better gift than going to the mall and spending like $1,500. Like if I get a letter that really means something from that person and it moves me, then that'll mean more than any type of gift cards or diamonds. Well, <laughs> that might be a little close, but. <laughs> I think a lot of guys take a woman for granted. And after they've had her for a little while, even if they're totally in love with her, they'll take her for granted and they'll maybe treat their friends better than they treat their girlfriend. That is a big mistake because their girl is, never belongs to anybody. So she can walk out at any time when she feels like that she's not being appreciated for anything. So I think that's the biggest mistake that guys make. But the feeling they get whenever they first meet each other, it, does, it shouldn't go away. It's the same person that you're with. So you should always treat that person with the same amount of respect, no matter how long you're with them. 
a lot of girls try to make guys jealous, which is a bad thing because I think guys need to be secure just like women need to be secure. So if you take away their sense of security, then they're going to also look elsewhere for that security in other women. So, and a woman thinks that she can tell, you know, if a guy really loves her, if he gets jealous. But a little jealousy is healthy, but too much to lord it over somebody's head is a big mistake, I think. I just think if you don't act full of yourself, then there'll be plenty of room in your life for other people. <laughs>